Hi, Robert Medlin here. I want to share a couple of things with you this morning uh, related to the to the end of the world or to the second coming of Jesus that I believe will be a blessing to you. Uh, there are a couple of things that 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 uh, uh, that are really important that that have to be completed before that that event has that before that event occurs. Uh, the first one is is the control of Jerusalem. Jesus said that the the Jer Jerusalem would be occupied would be controlled by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. And we know that even at the time of Jesus, uh, that, that the Gentiles, the Roman government, was in, was in control of Jerusalem. And from that time on, uh, the Jews have never been totally in control of Jerusalem. And so, uh, and we know that in 70 AD, that, uh, that Titus, the Roman emperor, came and destroyed Jerusalem and killed uh, an estimated million Jews. And, and the ones that escaped, Jews, um, and Christian Jews escaped and were scattered to every country of the world, which Jesus had prophesied as well. And so, uh, so Jesus said that when, when the when Jerusalem is no longer occupied by the by the Gentiles, when the Jews are in control of Jerusalem, then the times of the Gentiles will be fulfilled. The times of the Gentiles means the time of God's grace reaching out to the Gentiles to, to bring them into the kingdom, to bring them into his eternal kingdom through faith in Jesus. Uh, the focus of, of majority of the focus is on the, the Gentiles right now and uh, every nation of the world. The harvest is coming in. People are being saved from every nation of the world. Uh, the evangelism, uh, evangelists are reaching every 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 corner of the world is just wonderful uh there's just such an open door for anyone to be saved right now just to accept jesus as their lord and savior believe he died on the cross for their sins was raised from the dead and they have eternal life well this this is the time of the gentiles even though a great many jews are being saved as well but but when as soon as we see jerusalem controlled uh by the jews and not by the gentiles anymore then we'll know that that phase of 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 prophetic history is over and that and that the focus then is going to turn to the Jews and so um, Paul says and in, in that's in Luke chapter 21 uh, Paul says in in Romans 11 he says I don't want you to be ignorant of this mystery brothers so that you will not be conceited Israel has experienced a hardening in part until the full number of the Gentiles has come in and so Israel has experienced a hardness. You know, it's it's amazing that the Jews have resisted the message about Jesus. Jesus is a Jew. You know, Jesus is the the fulfillment. Uh, excuse me, of every prophecy uh, that 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 was made. He's the son of David. He's the son of Abraham, through whom all nations would be blessed. Uh, he's the son of David, who 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 the government is on his shoulders. Uh, he's the he's the son of of uh, uh, of Adam and Eve, who crushed the serpent's head. Jesus is the Passover lamb. Everything that was written uh, was written. Jesus came for the Jews first. And so everything that is written in the Bible was about the Jews. Uh, the Jews were the, the, the womb that God was going to use to bring forth the Messiah. And so for not just for the Jews, but for the whole world. And so that's why Satan has been attacking the Jews uh, from the very beginning. Uh, they've been under constant persecution. They've been blessed more than any nation, but they've also been attacked and persecuted more than any nation. And so, uh, as we know, uh, Hitler was Hitler, Hitler's plan was to extinguish every Jew from the face of the earth, and he ended ended up uh, killing over seven million Jews. When a horrible, uh, horrible thing that happened in World War II. But but uh, God raised up armies to defeat Hitler and, and to destroy Satan's plan to destroy the Jews. Well, why is Satan trying to destroy the Jews? Well, the reason is because that he knows that there are a set number of Gentiles that are going to be saved and a set number of Jews. And once that set number is saved, then the end is going to come. Jesus is going to return. Satan is going to be destroyed. And so he knows that he the only way that he has existence now is to prohibit the harvest from coming in. So he he is uh, intent on blinding the minds of the, of, Jew, of the Jews, especially in Israel, to the to the revelation that Jesus is their Messiah, and so he's trying to keep the Jews from being saved. He's trying, working all over the world, trying to keep uh, Gentiles from being saved, uh, and so uh, he's trying to preserve his life. And so, but that's not going to happen because Jesus is going to receive his harvest, and so the full number of Gentiles are going to be saved, the full number of Jews are going to be saved, and so, and. Uh, 
in in this uh, scripture from Romans. It says that this is this is a mystery. He doesn't want us to be uninformed about it. That uh, Israel has experienced a hardness in part until the full number of the Gentiles has come in. And so once once the full number of Gentiles has come in, and we know that that's going to happen, according to what Jesus said, is when Jerusalem is in is when the Jews are in totally in control of Jerusalem. When that happens. Then the full number of Gentiles has come in, and then the Lord's going to turn his attention to the Jews. And that'll be the final uh, chapter in history before Jesus returns, before the world ends, before before he returns in the sky with blazing glory. And so the, the second verse there says that that uh, that all Israel will be saved. And so God's plan is to save all Israel. And so there's going to be a tremendous revival among the Jews in acceptance of Jesus. It's not going to be easy. Uh, it, but but uh, the Lord is going to destroy Satan's blindness, uh, Satan's hold over their minds. The Jews are the most wonderful people, the most blessed people on the earth, uh, but they're pretty much agnostic, even though, you know, the multitudes of Jews have accepted Jesus. And and uh, but but the Jews, for the most part, are blinded. Uh, the devil has blinded their minds. They've blinded their eyes so that they can't see. Even though they're so blessed, they're agnostic. Not even you know most of them are not even you know that that's sure that they believe in God even though they have this great history and God has fulfilled these great promises for them but God has a destiny for them they are going to turn to the Lord they're going to turn to Jesus and so the last chapter of world history is going to be the salvation of the Jews all over the world the gospel will be preached to the Jews uh, in the land of Israel the gospel will, will be preached to the Jews with great power just like the gospel was preached uh, to the Jews when Jesus was here and, and during the early church uh, there were great signs and wonders. There's going to be great signs and wonders and miracles uh, in Jerusalem. And so the full harvest is going to come in. Once that happens, once the full number of Gentiles has been saved, and once the full number of Jews have been saved, then the skies are going to explode with the glory of Jesus at his second coming. We'll be snatched up to be with him forever and reign as kings and priests with him forever. And there will be the full number of Gentiles and the full number of Jews there. And so if you're watching this video and you really haven't accepted Jesus as your Lord, whether you're a Jew or a Gentile, Jesus, um, we all are sinners. We all fall short of the glory of God. We don't measure up. Uh, and so God gave the Jews the law to show them that they can't keep the law, that they can't keep it. They can't fulfill it. It's impossible. The only person that ever fulfilled the law was the Son of God. Jesus was the Son of God who came who came to earth in human form in the in the womb of the Virgin Mary. He was born of a virgin. He was the son of David. He's the son of Abraham. Uh, he's the son of, of Adam and Eve who crushed the serpent's head. And so Jesus came in human form. He fulfilled everything that we couldn't do. If you want to know what God requires of humanity, just look and see what Jesus did. He stilled the storms. He raised the dead. He healed the paralyzed. He healed the blind. He fed the multi multitudes uh, with a few loaves and fishes. Uh, if you want to know what that's re that's what God requires of man, well, we all fall short of the glory of God, and and if you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins, that He is the Lord, that He is your Messiah, uh, that He was raised from the dead, then your sins are forgiven. You're going to spend eternity in heaven, ruling and reigning with Him as kings and priests forever. And so, what a great thing that God has promised us! All you have to do is just accept and believe it. Just believe it. It's true. Jesus did it, and it's all these things are going to happen. And just like he restored, uh, e even though Israel was blocked out of, of uh, the, the Jews were locked out of Israel for almost 2,000 years, the Lord brought them back after World War II, and Israel is thriving. And so, so and there's this big contest over who's in control of Jerusalem. Well, all these things have been foretold. So you just accept Jesus right now as your Lord and Savior. He is the Lord. He did all those miracles. He died on the cross and he paid for your sins, not for his sins. He paid for your sins. He paid the penalty, took the judgment for it, descended into hell, rose from the dead. He is the Lord. And so if you believe that, you're going to go to heaven and uh, your sins are forgiven and I'll see you there. And what a great, we'll just have a great time talking about the great things Jesus has done in your lives and the, and the great things he's doing in the earth today. God bless you and have a wonderful day.